Today I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth guide on how to play Red Eyes. Uh, this is still a version I'm tweaking, I'm testing out the burn version right now uh, to see which deck is the most consistent uh, because I am playing in plat 1 and I'm playing against a lot of tier 1 decks and I want to get the best possible version where you can actually uh, win against these decks but on a consistent basis where you don't have to play uh, 10 games and get your insane combo off one game and the other 9 games you lose. So I'm gonna start with the deck list. What I did is I have four red eyes cards in my deck, four red eyes monsters to support the cards of the redstone. This means whenever you have a red eyes level seven or high or level seven monster in your hand, you can use this spell card, draw two cards, send it to the graveyard so you can unbrick yourself, and then send if you want another uh, red eyes to the graveyard. <clears throat> now. This is a card I'm testing right now. I'm not sure if this is the best uh, card to use, but it can pop off really hard if you have it in your opening hand with a red eyes. And that happens uh, occasionally. Uh, it's only annoying when you have this card in your hand or you have a red eyes in your hand and you don't have them together. It feels really bricky. Uh, but moving on, I have one uh, Blackstone of Legend. This card is a uh, level 1 monster that I can I can use to summon uh, Pisty, I can summon uh, Link Karibo. Um, and also, it is also meant for me to get to have an opportunity to get a Red Eyes back into my deck. So for example, if I use my cards as the Red Stone and I uh, summon a Media Black Common Dragon, all my Red Eyes are already in the graveyard. And then if I have another Red Eyes Fusion, I cannot use it because all my red eyes are in the graveyard. So what I can do is activate my black stone of legend when it's sent to the graveyard. Then when it is in the graveyard, you can actually get one red eyes monster from your graveyard back to your deck and you can you get this card back to your hand. So that's why I have this one. Then I have two fusion materials for my uh, meteor black comma dragon. That's Light Pulsar Dragon and that's uh, Mana Dragon Zinitron. Last time I explained why this card is so strong. Uh, I always fusion summon it first. Um, when it, this is in your graveyard or your hand and one of your trap uh, or spell cards on the field gets destroyed. For example, a Return of the Red Eyes, Red Eyes Burn, Red Eyes Spirit and moving on. And then you can choose one of your spell or trap cards in your graveyard and put it on the on the field. So for example, uh, what you can do is you use your return of the red eyes. Your opponent pops it. You can special summon something from the grave. Then it goes to the grave. You can actually summon this from your hand or your graveyard. Get this card back on the field. You will see in the duel I'm about to show you, this is exactly what happens and it's really hard to stop red eyes from summoning non-stop to the board and then when you actually summon all these cards you can start link summoning you can start uh, xyz summoning and your board gets out of control really fast uh so yeah moving on in every deck i use three maxis three blossoms and two call by the grave i just think these cards are way too strong and a must have because like, you have to have Blossom because everyone runs three maxis and Blossom is good almost every turn because every deck tries to search something from the deck or, um, or special summon from the deck uh, and Blossom just prevents that and also prevents the maxi. Then you also need two Call by the Grave to counter your enemy Blossoms and your enemy maxis. So these cards are just staple in every deck and a must have. Then... I am uh, also running uh, one Tenji Spirit Vishuda and also one Noctovision Dragon. I just feel these cards are decent right now because you can summon them to the field uh, turn one and you can already start to XYZ summon, for example, a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This is really helpful or you can even use them for your Anaconda. Uh, and there, there's a lot of options where you can use them well. I am not 100% sure they are staples yet, but I'm still testing it out. Then, I oh, actually I skipped this card. This is like the main uh, one of the main monsters in the deck. So this is the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This is like one of your strongest cards in the game uh, in the in the deck. So basically, you use him for a lot of combos. For example, if you start the Black Metal Dragon, you will um, 
summon this to the field. Link summon Bisty. Then, with this effect, when it goes to the graveyard, you can search one red ice card. You search this card from your deck. Special summon it to the field by banishing the Bisty that was already on the field. No worries, I will explain this again when I'm actually doing the replay. Uh, but then you can banish the Bisty on the field, summon this card to the field, resummon any um, dragon monster back from your graveyard or your hand. So what you can do is resummon this card again to the field, link it away for Link Karibo, or even you can use your Anaconda to link summon your uh, Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon and your uh, Black Metal Dragon. You can search again, for example, um, what can you search? Uh, a Red Eyes Fan with Chain. And then with the Anaconda's effect, you can actually fusion summon uh, your uh, Meteor Black Common Dragon. So this is all the information I have on this deck, like the rest is pretty straightforward. You have the Inferno Fire Blast. Start one Red Eyes Black Dragon in your monster zone. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the Black uh, the Red Eyes. So there's two uses for this. You can actually OTK your opponent turn one. And that is by usually uh, using the Red Eyes Fusion, summoning a black uh, Meteor Black Comet Dragon, and then having two of these in your hand. That's basically an OTK turn one. But usually what I do, is I summon Red Eyes to the field, use my Inferno Fire Blast, then Link Summon or XYZ Summon it away. So, because the downside is you can't attack that turn with that monster. But if you use it, you do the damage, and then you can actually XYZ or Link Summon it away. It doesn't matter. You just get the free damage, and then you summon another card. So, this is actually what happens in the uh, duel I'm about to show you. Then I have three Red Eyes Fusion. I have uh, three cards of the Redstone. I feel like this is not optimal this year, because I, I think maybe we should run two cards of the Redstone, but I'm still uh, looking. I'm just still testing it out. So, I just want to uh, keep you guys updated on that. Then I have three Red Eyes Insights, um, I have one Red Eyes Spirit, one Red Eyes Burn, one Red Eyes Fang with Chain, and one Red uh, Return to Red Eyes. The reason I'm only running one of all of these, this might seem inconsistent, but the thing is, I can search them very easily. I can search them with Black Metal Dragon when I'm comboing, or I can su su search them with Red Eyes Insight, and if I, for example, need two of these, and it's already in the graveyard, I can use uh, Zinitron's effect to get it back from the graveyard to my field. So it's actually very consistent to just run one of these. Um, then, as for the extra deck monsters, I'm running one Red Eye Slash Dragon. I don't use this card often. But that's also the reason why I have a Gear Freed in the deck. I don't use this often, but against niche decks, it is pretty good. Like against decks that uh, target single target. For example, uh, what single targets a lot? Like Dark Magician. Dark Magician is a single target a lot. And for example, against the Dark Magician deck, if you don't want to get banished, Red Eye Slash Dragon is actually a pretty good card to um, play against that matchup. But mostly you want to uh, summon your Meteor Black Common Dragon. Then I also have uh, Big Eye. Big Eye is very strong. Uh, as you will see, it's so easy to summon a level 7 monsters to the field. So this is actually a really good card if you uh, can't get over an opponent's uh, monster. Uh, then we have two Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. The reason I'm running two is you can actually summon two of these uh, occasionally to the field. And then actually when your opponent plays a card effect, for every card effect they uh, play, they take 1000 damage. If you have two of these on the field, so they're very limited. And especially with the other burn in the deck, it's very strong. And you basically lock your opponent out of the game. Then obviously I have one Zeus, uh, because when you attack with one of these XYZ monsters, you can uh, summon Zeus in main phase too. I have one uh, Link Spider. For example, if I have a Red Eyes Black Dragon or a Red Eyes Black Fire Dragon on the field, and I haven't normal summoned this, this is, the, this is then a normal monster. And I want to summon my uh, Ferte Anaconda, but I can't, because it requires one effect monster, and it requires, uh, no, actually it requires two effects mo effect monsters. And for example, if I have a uh, Mana Dragon Zenitron on the field and a normal Red Eyes, I cannot summon it. But what I can do is Link Spider one of my Red Eyes away to the graveyard, and then I have two effect monsters on the field. So that's why I'm running that one. I have Link Karibo to uh, summon away the Black uh, Metal Dragon. You can also use a Relinquished uh, Anima instead, this card. This is also a very strong card. I just like uh, Link Karibo a lot, and I don't f 
feel the need of crafting this one per se. But this is also a very solid card that you can use uh, instead of the Link Rebo or even just with the Link Rebo. Uh, then I have Guardian Dragon Pisty. This card is very strong in this deck. It's a must in my opinion. It's also a rare, so there's no reason not to have it. Uh, the reason is you can. It, it's meant for the combo with uh, the Black Metal Dragon. You will see during the game what I mean, but this card is an absolute must. Uh, the Vert Anaconda is very strong, a staple in, in very like uh, almost every single deck. Uh, this is a very easy craft. Uh, I recommend using this card as well. Then I have then what I have is just a few boss monsters: the Triple Burst Dragon, Boral Sword Dragon, and Darkness Metal. Uh, the what was his name again? The Dragon of Dark Steel, long ass name. I have I'm running these boss monsters, but you can also run. The soldier blacklist soldier uh, soldier of chaos this is also a, like arguably a better boss monster but because again i don't feel the need that it's staple in the deck it is very strong though but it's not staple in my opinion so i don't feel like crafting it but that's why i'm running these these are just my replacement boss monsters and then of course the end game access code talker uh very easy to summon once again you can just uh link summon your monsters away go to main uh go to main phase two summon access code talker pop your entire uh, opponent's entire field very strong card uh recommended almost uh, almost every deck um, and this is basically your end game. If everything else fails, you can always summon Excess Code Target and clean up the, the mess you made and just swing for game. So yeah, I am going to go into the replay right now explaining uh, the, like, the deck more in depth and my thought process behind it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this explanation so far and I see you guys in the replay. Peace. So welcome back guys. Uh, this is actually a game I played. Uh, I am plat 1 right now. And my opponent was plat 3. The The problem with being plat 1 is um, everyone who is in plat 1 actually is trying out new decks because you can't demote from it. That's what I'm doing as well. So it's actually a good thing that I'm not playing against a plat 1 player. I'm actually playing against a plat 3 player who is desperately uh, try hard and try to get the win. So this is actually a very competitive game. I am playing against a deck I haven't seen a lot. Uh, which you will see but i will just explain my thought process and the combos behind it so first this is my opening hand and this might seem really bad at first because you're thinking i have no red eyes in my hand uh, i have no way of getting my combo i can just play this card set it and end my turn but actually there's a lot of combos you can do with just bla uh, black metal dragon as i explained before so basically what i do is i summon my black metal dragon then i summon my guardian dragon pistique then my Black Metal Dragon in the graveyard pops it effect. And now I have two choices. Like, I have a lot of choices. I can search all my Red Eyes cards from the uh, from the deck. But the thing, what I need right now is a way to resummon this card. So what I do is I get my uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I will banish the Pisty from the field, summoning it. And then I will resummon my Black Metal Dragon. And then when it's back on the field... I can actually link summon it away again for Link Karibo. Pop it effect, and then I can search another red eyes card. But because I have cards of the red stone in my hand, I really want to get a red eyes to my hand to draw the cards. Otherwise, it's just a dead card. But usually, if I don't have the uh, the cards of the red stone in my hand, I will get another card like a red eyes fang with chain or a red eyes insight, for example. So uh, right now, I draw two cards. Now the problem is which I explained, this card is dead in my hand. That's why I don't like it. That's why I might stop running three of it, but I'm just testing it out right now. Um, I place one return of the red eyes on the field. And as you can see, I have my mana uh, dragon Zinitron in my hand. So if he manages to destroy this one, I can choose one of these cards to go back to the, to the field. Now I link summon away two cards. My Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon and my Black uh, Metal Dragon. And now you might think, like, why are you doing this? Uh, you are just making your board weaker. But now I can use uh, Vertanaconda's effect and actually fusion summon my Media Black Comma Dragon. And the thing is, this also thins out the deck. That This means I can't draw my Light Pulsar anymore. I can't draw my other Red Eyes anymore. And it like, if I draw these cards next turn, it's a break. I can't do anything. Espe espe like expect for the uh, except for the red eyes, of course, because I have cards of redstone. But this is also thinning out the deck um, and getting the most uh, out of my uh, first turn, getting eight cards in the graveyard. Also, I can pop 
this effect and burn my opponent down turn one. Now, my opponent goes into a fancy combo. I just I just put my blossom, I put my maxi to uh, try and negate as much as well like what, what his plan is. But he does actually get his main uh, combo off, as you will see. Right now, I am popping my Return of the Red Eyes immediately. Because the thing is, you can only use this card when you have a Red Eyes monster on the field. So, for example, if he managed to just banish my uh, Red Eyes Black Dra uh, like actually my uh, Meteor Black Comma Dragon, or destroy it, before I get um, the, the this card off, I can no longer summon. So, the reason why I do this is I just instantly want to summon a Red Eyes to the field, because when it gets destroyed, I can still use this. But now... Also, if this card gets destroyed, you can actually summon another Red Eyes from your graveyard, which is great. But also, when he destroys it, I can use my Mana Dragon Zenitron to summon it, summon it back to the field and actually special summon this card. So there's a lot going on, as you will see. This will all happen, actually. But this is all things I'm considering while playing. Right now, I... Um, I chain my uh, Maxi to it, to his combo, so I can uh, draw a lot of cards. I'm not sure how many cards I drew actually, but I think it was quite a few. That's, this is why Maxi is just so good. And he cannot stop his combo, because if he stops his combo, I will just kill him next turn. So he has to keep going. And I also, uh, right now, have a call by the grave to just counter his, his Maxi next turn. Right now, he's just using his Thunder Dragon combo. Okay, so right now, he's summoning his boss monster. And basically, this boss monster means every single time uh, a monster effect pops, from, uh, and that's mostly likely from his hand, he can destroy a card on the field. So you'll see what he starts doing. He starts popping all his... I deny his cross sheep first. But you will see, he will pop all the monsters from his hand and keep destroying my cards. But you will see how hard it is to actually destroy my board. So, okay, he tries he tries his first time. Now, the effect activates from my Media Black Common Dragon. If this gets uh, sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a Red Eyes monster back to the field. That's the first one. Then, he tries to get rid of my, tra my trap card but because he doesn't want me to keep special summoning. Again, send to the graveyard, special summon a red eyes monster back to the field. And who do I send? <laughs> With my mana dragon Zinchon, of course. I send my... Um, I send my red eyes darkness metal dragon back to the field. And while this is happening, I chain my mana dragon Zinchon, which means I can actually put it back on the field. And then if he destroys this again, I think I can special summon it again, but I'm not 100% sure. So right now. And the, the stubborn thing about this card is if he destroys this card and it gets sent to the graveyard, I can pop it uh, effect again and special summon it again. It's like for the entire duration of the game, I can keep uh, doing this. So it's very annoying to get rid of. And also you summon this back to the field, which can uh, be used as a Link Summon or a, F or a XYZ Summon. So he tries to destroy as many cards as possible on the field right now. He should have went for the Red Eyes Darkness Meldring. I'm not sure why he didn't, but it doesn't really matter in the long run, as you will see. So right now, he, he did his full combo, and I still have three big boys on the field together with a destroyed Red Eyes, uh, Return of the Red Eyes card, which I can use now to summon another Red Eyes. Then, for the people wondering why I don't use Call by the Graver, this card isn't so strong. I'm not sure why he's running it. It's like plus 500 a deck, which is fine. Uh, but it does mean I can't swing over it. But you will see how I solve that. And also, if this card is banished from the field, it gets an effect. So I didn't want to banish it. I just want to give him the 500, and that's completely fine. But as you will see, another time, he uh, pops his monster effect. The Thunder Dragon Titan uh, goes into his effect, destroy one card in the field. Now, he did negate my summon with a Return of the Red Eyes, but again, if it gets destroyed, I can actually summon. So he didn't do that much. So right now it's my turn again, and I still have four cards on the field, four big guys on the field. Right now, 
I use my Inferno Fire Blast, as I said uh, during the explanation. I will use this on my Red Eyes. Now my Red Eyes can't attack anymore. So you're thinking like, why would you do this if your Red Eyes can't attack anymore? But now I actually XYZ summon them away and pop Big Eyes effect. Because I don't have a card that swings over this one. And I don't have a, a Red Eyes Fang with Chain on the field. I actually have to uh, XYZ summon and steal his card with Big Eye. And now the thing is, I did 2400 damage to him with a card. And now my Red Eyes can't attack anymore. But he's an... Um, He's already uh, uh, material to the big guy anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I steal his card. And I actually, with my Red-Eyes Dark, Dark Metal Dragon, I can resummon my Media Black Common Dragon. This is no longer Red-Eyes Black Dragon on the field, by the way. So I couldn't have uh, resummoned this and then use my uh, Burn card on this because it's no longer Red-Eyes Black Dragon. It has a different name. But still, I have a lot of cards in the field, and I have a lot of options. As you can see, I can uh, summon my Boral Sword Dragon. Uh, what I can do is summon a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, oh, actually, no, I can't summon that one because I don't have a level. Two. I've the, I use the Big Eye, of course. Uh, but there's a lot of options you actually can do with the Link monsters. For example, I could have uh, Link summoned a, a level three. Um, uh, triple Burst Dragon, and then could have uh, summoned Excess Code Tarka, pop this card to the field, and attack straight ahead. But what I wanted to do was just like, this was the most damage I wanted to attack, and if he had a way, which he didn't, if he had a way to disrupt my combo, uh, I would have attacked with the big eye. I can uh, uh, special summon Zeus instead of the big eye, because whenever an XYZ monster attacks, you can in main phase 2 summon Zeus with two materials. And then I would have probably uh, tried to uh, summon uh, an Exos Code Tarker or whatever. Just get all these cards back in the grave. Uh, to get my Zinitron back in the grave and stuff like this. But obviously, he has no chance to win. And I just uh, he just scoops and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a free win. So I hope this explanation helped you guys. I'm still working on creating the best possible version for the deck. So I'm trying everything out. This was a high level play, uh, a high level uh, game. So it wasn't like I'm playing against a silver player who didn't know what he was doing. This guy knew what he was doing. And uh, it was, like, as you can see, it's very hard to get rid of these cards. And even with his entire combo, he couldn't even get rid of half my board. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching.